There has been a lot of critique on our president-elect's choices uh, for his cabinet. Uh, you're going to want to like, share, comment, subscribe to this channel. Be sure and share because I'm not just talking about that. I'm talking about our own personal picks for our ministry, uh, for our business. And I think it's just type and character and an example to see what we're seeing. There's always going to be people that criticize your choices. For example, and maybe you're an usher leader and you chose your head usher to be a particular person that a lot of people said, you know, this person is just not cut out uh, for the job. I don't see what I would want to see in a, in a servant uh, at that capacity in that, that particular role. I remember uh, King David, and you'll remember this as well, you know, Samuel went to go anoint a king from the sons of Jesse. He went through all of them said, no, this guy isn't this. He has these strengths. This one has this strength. But you know what? This isn't the anointed. I'll know the the one to anoint when I see him. He says, well, I have one more. And he's out in the field. He's a little ruddy looking, red faced boy. Maybe he had red hair even. And said, bring him to me. And he says, man looks on the outward appearance, but God looks on the heart, right? God had been developing young King David and anointed him and then appointed him to be king. And he had to go through many trials and uh, much rejection to be able to finally step into his anointing. And uh, of course he was the main part of the lineage of Jesus. King David is constantly compared to messianic rule, right? So it's so important that we walk in our anointing, but it's just, as important the decisions that we make along the way king david made a lot of bad decisions you know he chose some of the wrong people he chose mostly good people for his cabinet but he chose some of the wrong people as well and he made some wrong choices um, as well along the way so i think there's a way that seems right to a man as the bible says but the end of it leads to destruction not destruction of an entire business or a ministry but maybe a certain part of it. And then you have to fire somebody, let somebody go, dismiss them, you know, have them sit and receive in your, your congregation because they're not working out. He's got some personal issues he didn't see because God looks on the heart, you look on the outward uh, part. So we need to be discerning. When we're born again, we have the spirit of God and God is wisdom. And in the fear of the Lord, that's the beginning of wisdom and making wise picks are you always going to pick right for your business for your ministry for your volunteer team for your event no you're not always going to pick the right ones because you can't see the inner inner part or even the future of this of this person how they're going to respond and so you need to give it time people need to have people need to demonstrate tried and true character uh, to be able to carry the calling we've heard that uh, teaching before that you need to have the character to keep the calling you might have the charisma to inspire people but do you have the character to keep that calling going or are you even anointed for whatever it is that you've been appointed to by by a man we need to make sure that we pick god's appointees how do we do that we pray we go into the secret place Interestingly enough, um, what inspired me and, and uh, gave me the passion to make this video was where we're headed in the ministry God has for us. We'll give you the details later. The important part I want to point out is I'm always looking around in my circle of influence. First of all, they're going to be uh, born again believers, you know, Holy Ghost filled people that listen to the Lord. But then over time, you watch people's character and you realize, oh my goodness, you know, this is not the right person. I thought that they were. I've always, in my heart, I've, I had begun to make choices for ministry appointments where we're going. You know, board of directors for a 501c3, uh, you know, other people to run different uh, wings of it and developing relationships with people uh, to find out that there is some part of their character, some part of their uh, carnal makeup, that just gets triggered and you see a different side of them that you didn't think was there. And you realize, oh my goodness, if they had an authority issue, for example, uh, then 
you end up thinking, oh my goodness, you know, I'll be an authority. They'll be under my uh, leadership and they'll turn on me just like they turned on the other leader, you know? And so I began to just doubt my own discernment. And the Lord basically impressed upon me, good, you're doubting your own discernment. You need to trust my discernment for picking the right people. You know, my dad was a pastor, ran at, during his time, what was considered to be larger, you know, congregations, a thousand or so across the, the Southwest. And uh, he had uh, different friends and ministry leaders that would, would follow him from ministry to ministry. Uh, music leader that has, has had such an impact and now his son's having an impact on my life. Uh, he doesn't realize it, but um, he had the character, you know. Monty had the character. Carla had the character. They loved the Lord. They, they made things about the Lord. They trusted uh, leadership and they stuck with my dad through even a potential church split at the time. You know, my dad had stepped down uh, from, from his le leadership uh, role as senior pastor and seek God out for his next season of life. They stood by him and are still, well, my dad passed away 10 years ago, but they stood by him until uh, he passed away. Stands, they, these, these people stand uh, still, the Nichols, they still stand for our, our family, you know. Um, same thing, Dr. Robert Jeffress, you know, wh whatever you think about him. You know, he told us, he said, look, you start dropping my name, people are either gonna, they're either gonna love you or hate you because people, some people love me and some people hate me, you know, for, for better, for worse, or for whatever kind of stances he's taken. But he's been a family friend for a long time. And, uh, you know, pastor of a 14, 15,000 member, member church. And, you know, he, he endorsed our book, The Love Battery. You know, my wife was like, let's get him to endorse it. I said, well, I've never really even had an extended conversation with him before. Began to email him. He said, I would love to do that. I love the, the book. I love the, the premise. Let me, let me endorse it for you, you know? So I had him endorse the book, and then I had Harry and Cheryl Salem endorse the book, and they're, you know, charismatic, uh, Holy Ghost-filled uh, evangelists, you know, for many decades, you know? So it's a... Uh, um, Regardless of what you might think of somebody or the assumptions you made of, of them, uh, God brings people of character in your life for counsel. You know, when you are considering uh, starting up a new business, when you're considering uh, starting up a, a, a ministry that you know the Lord's called you to, and that it's not you, it's God, you need to make the right choices. And people are gonna fail you along the way because people are human, you know. You're human. You'll you'll make mistakes too. I'll make mistakes um, as well. But I was reminded of uh, the Lord reminded me of Isaiah 30, verse 21 today, and it says, and I I'm applying this in terms of making decisions and appointing people, God's people, to the right positions in in ministry <clears throat> and volunteerism. He says, when you are tempted to look to the left hand or to the right. Listen to the voice behind you that says, this is the way, walk in it. <clears throat> I just made a 180. I'm walking in a different direction I didn't expect I would I would walk in necessarily. The Lord says, man, you think you're, you know these people. No, I really know them <clears throat> in their heart. I know what they're gonna do. I know what they think right now. They're thinking some things that you, you, you don't need to know about, you know, about you, about about God, about uh, life and living, whether they've grabbed hold of particular philosophies and new age that they're about to, you know, bust out and all of a sudden they're on your ministry team and you've got to set them down. You know, it happens all the time. So it's a good idea, a great idea and a God idea to wait, wait on the Lord. Let him make those decisions through you. Let him make those decisions through you. Lean on his discernment so you can make the best possible choice. Don't just throw somebody in there that you say, oh, they have these qualifications and here's the resume. No. <clears throat> Put in the right people. Are they gonna be oriented that way? Are they gonna have some sort of experience that leans toward the way of that, that role that you wanna put them in? Yes, but lean on God for it. Don't lean on your own understanding and uh, you'll save yourself a lot of headache and heartache. I've seen it in so many different uh, ministries. Love you guys. Have a blessed week and a great Thanksgiving ahead. Be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And uh, check out our book um, also, The Love Battery.
Uh, you can email us at the uh, the love battery at gmail.com. Check out our website. We are the Bryants.com. Uh, we're on YouTube. We are the Bryants uh, 6924. And uh, we're also on uh, TikTok as well. It's, that's a listen. There's a lot of a lot of Holy Ghost filled believers on, on TikTok. Don't don't listen to people that say, oh, you gotta stay away from TikTok. There's more freedom on TikTok than uh, than there is on, on some of these other social media platforms for sure. And uh, are there a lot of witches and warlocks and you know nasty people on TikTok? Yeah, but there's billions of them. But along with those billions comes the multiple millions of remnant warriors that are there to help support you and you can you can uh, encourage them as well make sure you make some of your own videos listen to god in the secret place and that's my final note um listen to his word and when you have a word to deliver don't be nervous it's about him just release the word release the word somebody needs to hear it and uh and so comment down below put a fire emoji uh hey you're talking straight to me you know i got some decisions coming up something like that to let to let me know that, that God is moving in your life so I can pray for you. All right, love you guys. Have a blessed day. Bye-bye.